In this video, we're going to get to know James Hinchless' girlfriend, Becky Dalton, to give us the perspective of what the significant other of a race car driver goes through, including how ladies in the pits handle on-track confrontations between the boys. Coming right up. Welcome to Humans of Racing, where we provide viewers a virtual garage pass to meet and get to know the people working behind the scenes in motorsports. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, be sure to check out our channel to see other people that work behind the scenes, and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any other clips. Today, we're talking with Becky Dalton, so with that said, let's get started. Before um, getting into a, an active relationship with, with Hinch, were you ever a, a fan of racing at all? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Does Becky like racing? Uh, I mean, she likes it now, kind of. I grew up, my brother loved cars growing up, so mm -hmm. we went to every auto show. He had every car model, so I had an appreciation for cars. Mm -hmm. um, so I was very open to it. I was really excited about it. I yeah. thought it was amazing, mm -hmm. and you know, it took one race before yeah. I was yeah. a fan. That's just right. She's great. I mean, she was not into racing at all before we met, and now she'll definitely tolerate sitting through Formula One races on Sunday mornings and NASCAR races Sunday afternoons, obviously all of our stuff. And I think like anybody, once you get there and you see it and you experience it, you kind of start to fall in love with it because it is that kind of sport. You know, it's a very emotional sport when you really get to know it, when you know people involved. I mean, find her boyfriends on track, but she's now friends with a lot of the other drivers and their wives and girlfriends and all the rest of it. So she's got a, she's got an emotional, you know, vested interest in it. So you could say she's a racing fan now. So now you're a fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I love it. Uh, what do you like most about racing? Um, I like the competition of it. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, once you sit down and you're watching it, you get so into it. And, you know, even yeah. when James, whatever happens, even if he's out, there's still people you're rooting for. And yeah. yeah. And, and just the whole family yeah. that's here. Yeah. It's Yeah. Every weekend you get to be with everybody and it's yeah. great. Would you, who would you name as other people that you root for? Well, now Robbie, yeah. the other Canadian. Yes, mm -hmm. I would definitely have to go with that. And yeah. uh, I met Robbie a couple years ago, and he's awesome. Yeah. So I'm rooting for him now. Um, but I would say Alex Rossi, Marco Andretti, they're mm -hmm. close friends of ours, yeah. so I'm always rooting for them too. Cool. So what do you like least about racing? The danger of it. Mm -hmm. I don't like telling James how scared I am, but it's mm -hmm. it's scary. Yeah. So that's definitely the main downside of it. This is obviously a unique lifestyle. Yes. Uh, what about it? Are there things about it that you like or, or don't like? Yeah. Um, I kind of like that we're always moving around. Mm -hmm. um, in my industry, you don't know what you're doing the next month, let alone the next week. So yeah. you're always constantly moving. There's no routine. There's no structure. So mm -hmm. I'm used to that. Mm -hmm. and. I get very restless. So yeah. for me, when we have to get up and go, it's great. Oh, I like cool. it. I like hopping on a plane. I think it's the best. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Downside, yeah. packing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a good packer. Do you have any events on the schedule that you just look forward to going to? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, after Toronto, we have the Hinge Party, yeah. and that's so fun. We have mm -hmm. all our friends and family that come, and we can celebrate. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm very exhausted by then, but yeah. it's fun. Um, I really enjoy Rev before Indy. Mm -hmm. um, that's really fun. That's when you get to see everybody kind of dress up. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy that event too. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any crazy fan encounters yourself or seen Hinch have any crazy fan, fan encounters? There's always a few crazies out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, Twitter's always the, yeah. the one thing. If you kind of catch something someone says to you, I've had I've had a guy tweet at me that he knew where I was, and he did, he knew where I was, and that was freaky. And he always tweeted at me, and I just, you know, noticed it, and then one time I was like, oh, okay, that's a little far. Wow. But for the most part, we've been lucky. It hasn't been too crazy. Yeah. So during the typical race weekend, mm -hmm. in a way, I mean, you're not working, so how do you fill the time? You know what? It's so busy all the time. There's always friends, family. I know a lot of the girlfriends and wives. So once you walk out of the bus, you'll see someone and you'll just go hang out with them for a bit. So I try to get some exercise in, take Lou out. And then it's just kind of seeing everyone going to watch practice. Mm -hmm. It fills, your time is filled, yeah. which is great. I asked Hinch what you do and he said, <laughs> I assume she's drinking when, I, when I'm not with her on race weekends. You, no, <laughs> <laughs> not before noon. <laughs> well, speaking of drinks, do you have a favorite drink? 
Yes, I would say a gin and tonic is gin my favorite tonic. drink. Yeah, it's James's too, actually. We yeah. bonded over that. <laughs> <laughs> so then during the race, where do you usually perch yourself? Um, I, I start in pit lane. Mm-hmm. I'll start on the grid in pit lane, and I'll watch for a few laps there, probably the first 10. Yeah. And then I'll either head to hospitality and watch from the screens. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's a good corner you can go to, mm-hmm. and I'll just park there and cool. have a glass of wine <laughs> <laughs> and watch them go by. And I can follow it on the app, the IndyCar yeah. app, so I can see what's happening. Or I come here. Yeah. If, it, you know, if the weather's not great, we can get the feed on the TV. Yeah. and yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Have there been any, you know, you mentioned earlier, the community of, of girlfriends and wives. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been involved in any sort of cattiness? Between. No, mm-hmm. you know, it's funny because when I first came here, mm-hmm. someone actually approached my agent about them wanting to do uh, kind of a real Housewives of IndyCar. And all of us are just like, that would be the most boring show. <laughs> we all get along so well. Yeah. And everyone's super nice. There's mm-hmm. just, there's none of that. Have there ever been any awkward moments, though, where like, I'm thinking like mm-hmm. Texas last year where, where Hinge was taken out and there was some strong emotions between the drivers how do the ladies handle that sort of situation for the most part well yeah. i mean i'm i'm competitive but i'm not i, I don't look right. at any other i'm not going to look at the wife and go no. oh yeah. your husband so it never gets personal up. between not ladies. for me i think some some of the girls are a little more competitive mm-hmm. but i haven't experienced it and i i it blows over really quick if it's there okay. Cool. No, I mean it's uh, you know it's such a big family here, and, and we call it we call it bus life. You know, you're you're living in the in the tour bus, for lack of a better term, and we've got this little community. A lot of the drivers' families come on the road, and so uh, when all the when all the guys are out on track, you know, all their girls are back supporting them and, and watching you usually in the bus lot and supporting each other during races, things like that. Do you personally have any superstitions? I don't. I'm not a superstitious person. Mm-hmm. Um, I think maybe the only thing is, is my mom always said, don't put your purse on the ground and you'll lose all your money. Like if you put your purse on the ground, it means you're going to be poor. Right, right. So I, I really avoid putting my purse on the ground. <laughs> and that's, I think, yeah. <laughs> and I think that's the only thing I've ever thought about. That's funny. I just don't want to be poor. <laughs> uh, Hinch is a bit of a prankster. Yes. Are you? No, not I'm not. I'm a surpriser. Okay. But I'm not a pranker. I, uh, I know that he likes to pull pranks on others. Does he ever do that to you? No. I would freak it. What he does sometimes is he sneaks up on me. Mm. I'm a very, I get startled very easily, and he pops out in places and just yeah. scares the living daylights yeah. out of me. Do you ever get jealous? Uh, oh, just in general? Yeah. No, I'm not a very jealous person. Mm. I, um... I, you know, even with Dancing with the Stars, everyone freaked out about that. Yeah. And I don't know if it's just because I'm in a business where I work with someone very closely for three months mm-hmm. and you become very close and I understand that kind of relationship. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's what it was, but no, I trust him entirely. He's the yeah. most loyal person ever. There's never, mm-hmm. as long as you can separate the two, you're fine. Yeah. 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 So speaking of your industry, do you have anything in the fire right now that you're working on? Anything we can look out for? Um, I'm on a series right now called Good Witch. Okay. It's on the Hallmark Channel. So mm-hmm. we're just we just completed season four. Okay. And we'll be doing season five probably in the fall. All right. So very that's cool. my consistent thing right now. <laughs> and if uh, we were to tell the fans, you know, this is the movie that we should watch to kind of get to see you as an actress, what movie would that be? Um, uh, <laughs> I was in one called Total Frat Movie, and that's that was a big one. It's on Netflix. Um, everyone else's character is a little dodgy, but that was one that I think I was proud of my character. Yeah, yeah. but it's a little bit of a wild movie, so I don't know. I if saw everyone, previews of it. It'll look yeah, pretty... I'm not sure it's appropriate for everyone. <laughs> that might be a more. I don't know what it's rated. It might be R. <laughs> what was your character like? Was your? I was the only sweet, innocent one. In okay. It. Wow. Everyone else was not yeah um is that character kind of closer to your personality or were you more of a wild child as as a younger it's closer to my personality i i I was a little more wild when i was younger but i'm definitely grew out of that phase you know the university sure you get your id and you have a good time (laughs) uh what is your ultimate goal career-wise for you what what are your some of the hopes and dreams you have there um i would love to do a series for 
Netflix, HBO, Hulu, any of those, that would be the goal, like a long-term series. That's kind of where it's at now. Yeah. Films are great, mm -hmm. but for longevity, yeah. it would be something like that. Something opposite my personality. Mm -hmm. I'd love to play. What would be your dream role? Something dark. Yeah. Yeah, funny. Mm -hmm. I like funny, but mm -hmm. dark. Just something maybe the blonde hair doesn't work for, <laughs> you know? What are some of the things that you and Hinch like to watch to, to entertain yourselves? Uh, right now, well, we finally got on the Game of Thrones bandwagon. Oh, okay. I've yeah. never started it, so... We we didn't want to, and then and then we, we, we fell into it. So we're just into season four, but we love... Power is a big one that we really mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we really like This Is Us right now, even though it makes mm -hmm. us cry at the end of every episode. <laughs> I'm in tears. It makes the both of you cry. He holds it in for the okay. most part. Okay. He yeah. just likes to point at me. He just points a finger at me, and then no one's looking at him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever have ambitions to get in the car yourself? Yeah. Oh, I love, I love driving. Mm -hmm. They never let me drive that thing. Of Barely course. allowed yeah. to sit in it. Mm -hmm. um, I've been in the two seater, mm -hmm. which was terrifying, actually. Really? Yeah. The one thing people don't know is how fast you go. When you watch mm -hmm. it on TV, even when you watch it. You, you don't realize mm -hmm. how fast they're going, how hard they're braking. Mm -hmm. That's something I didn't realize, and I appreciated what he did. I, I think I got out of the car and I said, you're insane. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate thank it. Thank you, of it was, course. It was a pleasure to meet you. It was you. very nice to meet you, too. Where, where could people find you on Twitter if they're not following you already? I'm at Becky Daltz, D-A-L-T-S, and that's okay. because every version of my name was taken on Twitter. Oh, wow. So I had to shorten my last names. <laughs> but if people see that, they'll put it in their phone as Becky right. Daltz. It's Any Dalton. Any other uh, social media? They yeah, I'm, I'm most active on Instagram. I'm not that active on okay. Twitter. So that's Becky J. Dalton. Okay. Yeah, and that's kind of where I spend my time. All right. Very and then cool. there's Lou the Cockapoo if you want to check out Lou. She has her own Instagram. <laughs> she does have her own Instagram. Okay, She's so cool. look at her. I